Hi, I'm Dave Rice. I'm the technical director at Critical Link, and uh, I wanted to uh, do a quick uh, description here of the uh, software-defined radio that uh, we built for one of our customers. Um, obviously, this is a uh, prototype, so it's not anything like the final form factor you'd use, but uh, the beauty of this is that uh, we're able to put it together very quickly using uh, uh, evaluation kits and using our industrial I.O. board and uh, Mighty DSP L138F module. So basically what we have here is the, uh, the uh, Mighty DSP L138F module with the uh, DSP and the FPGA on board. This is actually the uh, debug header that lets us do the JTAG uh, debugging. So the uh, L138 module fits inside of the, uh, the uh, NDS industrial I.O. board uh, which we use for a development platform for a lot of projects. And then we have a custom design board down here, which uh, basically takes the, uh, some of the FPGA pins from the, uh, from the module and routes them to various, uh, basically in this case, cables over to the, uh, to the evaluation kits. So here we have the uh, THS 5671 evaluation kit. And here we have the ADS5562 evaluation kit. So basically what we do is we drive our, uh, our signals down to the DAC from the FPGA through the UPP to the FPGA and down to the DAC. Uh, the signal then uh, pretends it's on the radio waves and travels over this uh, SMA cable and then goes into the ADD converter. Now we actually modified the front end of the ADD converter evaluation kit because we needed to do lower frequencies. This kit uh, rolls off below one megahertz so you don't get much signal strength through there. We actually ma basically made it DC coupled so we were able to put in a, a 300 kilohertz signal or a 10 kilohertz signal or a 100 kilohertz signal or whatever, uh, you know, whatever we want to do. Um, so basically then the uh, ADD converter uh, uh, uses the uh, clock, which comes in on this SMA cable, digitizes the signal, feeds it into the FPGA. The FPGA does the initial baseband processing to, uh, to uh, demodulate the signal into a, into a baseband signal. And then the DSP gets the baseband signal at a lower data rate and does the uh, final processing and the decode processing uh, to, to actually uh, get the output signal. So that's basically the system. Thank you very much.